Hey, what's up? This is part whatever um, in my Ableton course. Uh, and uh, uh, I really hope that your fingers have not left um, your Ableton home row. Um, they still should be uh, control and C um, with your thumb resting on the space bar. Uh, and you should really uh, commit yourself to working this way. Uh, and that's how you get like lightning fast. Um, workflow and all that fun stuff. Um, so uh, what we're going to do is we're going to work on getting a uh, uh, result, I guess, um, and basically uh, go over uh, some more uh, not so Toys R Us beginner stuff. And we'll start with uh, a kick. Uh, that's the best kind of way to, you know, get music done. Uh, and we'll just get a bass drum. Perfect. We'll drop that in uh, either on this one or we can create a new one. And we'll just create a new one and you just drop it. Bam. Right in there. Uh, and you look at it and you'll remember, oh, okay, this is a quarter bar. So you go control D, make a loop. There, you have a loop. So you have you have your loop, and th that's all well and good. But uh, you know, some people don't really want to work that way uh, most of the time. So you uh, create a new MIDI track. I'll show you how to uh, make a drum loop or drum MIDI drums. Um, so what we want to do is uh, go to instruments, go to drum rack, go that there, and uh, each one of these pads is kind of like this. Well, it's exactly like this, this right here. Now you get your four pads, um, and you can load any sound into any of them. Uh, and it's uh, really fun to use. You just drop it in. Then you have this little play button here. So this is muted because it's off, this little off section here. It's muted. And well, what we'll do is we'll play with our little keyboard. We'll press a a key between A and L and some of the flats are above there but we'll go A to L and you'll notice that I'm pressing a but I'm pressing buttons and I'm an octave too high uh, these are triggered by uh, a piano or I mean like a MIDI keyboard or uh, you can map them to something but for the sake of this tutorial uh, we're gonna want to move this an octave down uh, so we'll just uh, press Z or Z, and then we'll try again, and we'll see computer keyboard current state C1 to D2, C2 to D3. We'll go down, and then there we go. And now we can play all these sounds via the keyboard, the computer keyboard. So what we'll do is we'll kind of drop this in right here because uh, we want to create a kick. So we'll insert MIDI clip, and it's not the full kind of guy here, which is interesting. Uh, so we'll take that, we'll select the MIDI clip, click here, and uh, it's automatically folded. If it's not, uh, you want to open it up, and then you have your full-on piano, or like, yeah, like your piano roll, and then you can find where the kick is. Oh, it's that key right there, and this is a good way to kind of draw it in right or you can fold so what we'll do is we'll go control B to draw control B again to take it away we'll make that long um, stretch it out to the end of the clip pretty fun we'll move this down uh, and then what we'll do is we'll duplicate 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 we'll select all of this right and we'll consolidate. So we consolidate the MIDI, and it basically it uh, it basically costs uh, nothing. And if you have or like no RAM or CPU, or whatever, uh, and nothing on the hard drive, it makes the clip one big clip. So you can select all these. Blue is highlighted. Then you can shorten them up. Then we ba we basically have the same thing here, right? And the benefit of this is we can. Um, Oops. Where am I? Come on. Yeah. We can replace the sound. So 
as it's going. Right, and, and there's a way to do it. You click on this and then you can go through. And yeah, that's advanced. I never use that feature. Uh, so you have this. So now uh, we want to load something else uh, into this. So we'll arm this guy to receive MIDI. And I'm trying to play these with the keyboard, computer keyboard. You can do that with, you know, regular keyboard uh, but you, 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 we're doing it with this keyboard so we'll find a clap and this is basically how you kind of program drums if you're used to it this way uh, so a lot of clap so so we'll uh, edit the MIDI we found the clap click on that Right, so each sound is triggered by MIDI, uh, and it's kind of simple to keep track. And you can um, do more things, uh, like add symbols, like add an open hi. No, we'll we'll add a closed hi hat. Add that here, and then where's that? Yeah, Control B. We're not sure. We can um, uh, alter the fixed grid. We'll go eights. So uh, the hat the hat happens on the offbeat, right? Because this is quarter. Each one of these, the the different uh, shade like the two shades of gray, they alternate between um, the pattern. So right now it's uh, uh, a quarter bar. And then we'll go um, half of that quarter would be an eighth. That would be where the the hi hat, the offbeat would lay. So you can hear that now. And that is your basic uh, beat, um, and it's really fun to uh, work that way. Um, you can work with oops. you can work with uh, audio uh, just by itself. Just uh, dragging sounds in if you're used to working that way, or you can uh, drop them all into a drum rack and uh, draw them out, kind of like how uh, FL Studio, like how the patterns work. Like each one of these could be its own pattern, uh, and if you like, you know, duplicate that uh, and you make it a different color, you can add a variation, which I'm not good at. Yeah, see, and you can just. Control D, and you can make these, uh, you know, these hi hats more interesting by making them kind of faster, or you know, and that can be like uh, how you would build a track. Uh, the only downfall is um, mixing these. Mixing is you know uh, making all the sounds sit well together. Uh, it's kind of difficult. Because each sound, yeah, each sound you can drop in an EQ or whatnot, uh, but uh, it's difficult to kind of spread these out and listen. Um, so yeah, um, right now here, here's what we'll do. Move that over to replace it. Uh, I'll delete. I'll, well, uh, sorry. I'll delete the kick, so the kick is no longer playing in here. I could have also muted it, but you know, for the sake of ease, I'm deleting it. Uh, so now we have our kind of hi hat uh, pattern with a clap. And what we'll do is we'll add uh, an effect. See, you can play that with the kick too. So here we go. Right, so now I want uh, that to be put into a space, and I want to add an effect to uh, make it sound interesting and not so dry. So I just threw in a reverb, and uh, don't worry about anything else, just wet dry for now. Uh, wet dry instruments, that's the way to go. Uh, you start at zero, and then you bring it up as you like want to hear it. You can even solo this.
that doesn't sound too good on the hi hats, right? But it sounds good on the clap. So what I want to do is I want to add that to the clap. So I'll select the clap. The clap sample is loaded here. I'll take this. See so what that blue line is? Drop it in. There. And now I have uh, that reverb only on the clap. Right? I'll turn it all the way up so you can hear it. So that, that reverb is only on the clap, and it makes the clap sound bigger. And that's uh, your effects chain. Each one of these little pads is basically, yeah, well, it's essentially a sampler, right? Um, and each sound, right, through the pads here, um, has its own uh, separate uh, chain. So MIDI, MIDI comes in, it plays the sample, and that sample uh, samples audio goes through the reverb and then comes out. Uh, MIDI plays another sound, uh, it goes through, and what I want to do is I want to add a delay to make the hi-hat sound more interesting. So you get that, don't worry about anything else, wet dry. Just focus on wet dry for now. Uh, and then now we'll just bring the wet dry up. So that's affecting the claps, but it's not, uh, no, that's affecting the hi-hats, but it's not affecting the claps. And this is, um, how you build your track because you don't want the reverb on the kick because it makes it sound too muddy or it makes it sound too like boomy you can if you want uh, but reverb sounds really good on claps and delay sounds really good on hi-hats so here we go a little too much so I'll, br I'll bring it down Now what we'll do, what I'll do now, is you always do this, if you're working with uh, strictly audio and not MIDI, um, you're going to want to consolidate. So we'll select all, the blue, right click at the top, consolidate, and away from my hard drive to speed up. My scratch drive is ancient. Um, and then I do that. This is consolidated. The loop section is good to go on each of these clips. Okay, select loop, select loop, and then now I can uh, bring that out to four bars, right? And then I can add uh, kind of a, a variation. Let's do that now. Uh, just something. What the hell happened? Oh, oh, we got a we got an error here. So what happened was is this loop. This happens sometimes, it's perfect. This loop sometimes uh, does something weird uh, when you consolidate kind of MIDI. So what it's doing now is it goes off. So then we have a, we have a problem and I'm really glad this happened because then I can show you. Uh, when that happens, when these little dotted lines don't match up, because each one of these gray spots is a bar, right? Well. Not really. Like the more you zoom out, the less it be the more it becomes like 32. But if you zoom in, right? Each of these is a bar, and the lines uh, line up on the bar uh, where the you know the bar uh, loops. See these lines here. This, however, does not. And what we'll do is we can just move this over, right, to the two, and then now they line up. If you absolutely if this happens and it, and you're just like I have no idea what's going on, you just take this, move that over, move it back, so you get the little line break. Right click, consolidate, loop, make sure it's there, and then loop again, and that should fix it up. So now I want to add a variation. Uh, I want to add another clap to the end, and then. Uh, another bass drum or I'll just take the bass drum out so now we have a variation right so we'll just leave that so we have now we have a, a bit of a variation in our beat uh, we need uh, a way to resolve that part and the best way to do that in my opinion, uh, is to add uh, 
a crash or a symbol, a little crash symbol. So we'll just go we'll find one. That's a nice one. So we can play at any point here, so we can listen to what it sounds like. So now we have our party boy beat. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to add a bass, a bass line, an offbeat bass line. And we'll do that by adding in a MIDI clip. Uh, we can either take a sample or we'll do synthesis. Uh, synthesis is a little uh, complicated. Um, well, it's quite easy, but it's a little complicated. So uh, you're going to want to go to your trusty kind of vengeance samples and then find synth basses, any kind of root note works. <laughs> Come on, just give me one that's acceptable. There we go. So we have this guy, and we want to load that into a sampler. We don't need to right click and create a sampler, drag it in, drag in the sampler. We just drag in the sound. And oh, what's going on? It doesn't work. So this is the uh, the the clip window. This doesn't work. And you have the MIDI, the three MIDI channel selected you just go to MIDI here to activate the MIDI tab and then you drag it in or you can just select it so when you go from here to here uh, it still shows the clip it even shows a clip from another channel but then you go here and then you have your sample so uh, this plays like an instrument with your keyboard so you just press a key that's pretty low so we'll press X it's X and Y to go up and down and you see at the bottom the current state that will go back down so what we have here is we have a sound that's it's too quiet um, there's two ways to do this um, in the sampler window there's a volume tab it's minus 12 for some reason that I don't quite understand uh, but we'll bring that up to zero and zero DB is where it should rest so now it's louder so what we want to do now is we will mute the crash mute our uh, percussion uh, lane and then uh, we'll move this back down to one bar it's good to work in one bar uh, so what we'll do is we'll select drop a MIDI clip uh, we'll find the offbeat because that's simple so that's one eighth and we'll find a we'll find a key that we like that sounds cool so select the pen so the the grayscale alternates so this would be this would be the offbeat or you can solo this turn on the metronome and just to double check hmm that is not the offbeat so what you want to do is the grayscale fucked me up is move that over and you can see kick bass kick no bass yeah, and then and instead of drawing that in, you can select oops, select that part, duplicate, 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 select all, right click at the top, consolidate, and then that turns into one happy MIDI clip, right? And it sounds awesome. I want to turn off the metronome. You can do cool things. You can move the pitch down. That sounds neat. Uh, but what I want, I want a bit more energy. Uh, so what I'll do now is I'll loop. Drag that guy right to the end. Set the loop section to the full thing. Right? And then I'll mute. Oops undo and then I'll control Z is undo 
and then I'll take that off. So now we have this. With the percussion and everything. Here we go. Right? That crash is a little too loud. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of balance my faders. And I like to do this as I go. Bring that down. I'll solo it. Yeah, bring it down more. Right? There's a, there's a lot of a lot of noise in that uh, piece of percussion, but I can bring it down. Yeah, now that sounds better and less obnoxious. And maybe the hi-hats uh, are a little too loud. So remember when we went into the sampler? Remember when we went into the sampler when you turned the volume down? What we're going to do is we're going to do the same thing here. Hi-hat closed. Just turn it down. We can even solo it. then there's no more clap because we have the clap or the hi-hat soloed. So what I want is I want to add in a MIDI effect. Uh, you can add a reverb if you want, but I want to add a MIDI effect. Uh, and I want to add in the arpeggiator. And this, uh, it, it, ta it takes the input signal the MIDI input signal and then arpeggiates it, uh, turns it on and off uh, repeatedly to a clocked rate. So right now it's uh, one eighth um, with a gate of 50%. So I'll just worry about these two for now, right? Rate and gate. So right now it's uh, set to eighth, right? If I set it to quarter, it's normal because the the note is a quarter uh, beat long. I can send it to the eighth. Turn the gate up to make the space between on and off longer. In a weird, yeah, basically. Yeah, or I can bring it down to sixteenths. And that uh, would add a bit of energy. Uh, and what I'll do is I'll just unsolo that and give it a listen. have that and that's all well and good so now we're, we're building a track with a variation what I want to do now let's add a, uh, another effect um, 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 um. let's uh, what's a simple kind of effect an amp okay we'll add an amp that is uh, wet dry so basically an amp is an amplifier uh, it's kind of modeled uh, like cabinet electric guitar, Jimi Hendrix, you know what I mean? Uh, and just focus on wet and dry, like, uh, and then we'll solo this. Typically when applying an effect, you want to solo uh, what's being affected. So we'll listen to this now with wet. It adds a lot of fuzz, adds a lot of color, and then uh, dry, it's back to normal. So mix the, the bass more meaty. And that is really fun. Uh, now, what I want to do is add a filter. And a filter is a very, very, very simple EQ. Don't let it scare you. The auto filter, drop it in, and you'll notice it has, just focus on uh, this window and these buttons, okay? And this knob thing, or this value. So this is a... Uh, this is a low pass filter, and I should really wait to get into filters, but what it does is it carves out the sounds, the high frequency sounds, like the s right? That's a high frequency sound, and that's about kind of where it is um, right now. So right now we have the full sound coming through. When you bring that threshold down, it takes away all the high ends, 
and only lets the low end stay. So low pass filter. See, low pass. So right now we only have the low end going through. Then we can open it. Right, and what that does is that'll clean it up. You also have high pass, which is the reverse. It carves out all the low end, so you just have the high pass, the high sounds. Which sounds cool. Band pass, uh, particular uh, frequency, uh, um, only comes through. So it carves off the low end and the high end, and a notch um, would be uh, the polar opposite of that. It's taking away. It's a uh, uh, taking away a particular frequency, but leaving the rest there. But it adds kind of a weird phaser effect. But we'll stick to the low pass, and we'll just give uh, give it some room. We don't want the high end there. We want like a little bit of a whoomph. Right? Now we'll play that. We'll get rid of the... We'll take, uh, take a bit off the rate of the arpeggiator. Alright, so now we have basic party boy uh, loop. Um, you can go on for days. We can add a bit of reverb uh, after the filter. Only worry about wet dry. We can have that before the amp to get a, a more richer kind of sound. Right, you have that now. What else can I show you? Um, 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 um. uh, I apologize. Yeah, what else? Uh, programming. No, we went over MIDI. Uh, okay, so we have MIDI. This is, this is MIDI sampling. There's a child yelling outside my window. So we have MIDI affecting sampler instruments and then MIDI affecting a drum rack and we built something from the drum rack and you can have as many as you want here uh, and we have added effects to that uh, introduction to effects yeah uh, I guess that's it uh, for now uh, next up I'll cover something else hope you're making your first little tracks um yeah and this is basically a uh, basic 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 cra uh, track construction anyway hope you enjoyed it take care